We do weddings now. If you want flowers, if you get them married. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Welcome to the midweek shave, Wednesday shave. Uh, two new products in this uh, shave, brush and soap. Now the brush you've never seen because it's not long arrived with me. Um, it's one I've seen my good friend Alistair uh, bought uh, himself and Laura, his girlfriend, won and I loved it at first sight. I said, I've got to have one of them. He's always doing it to me. <laughs> and that brush, I've started to lather it up now, is this. And it's a Razor Rock 400. We can get this right. Razor Rock 400. And it's based on an old rubber set, is it? I've run yeah, rubber set 400, which is a vintage brush. And this is how the handles wear. And this is like a resin uh, handle now, uh, butterscotch or orange. Um, and the knot is a Noir Plissoft Soft um, knot. Now the brush is 24 millimeters in diameter and the knot is 57 millimeters in diameter. Uh, it's a synthetic knot. Um, what else is there to tell you? Oh, this knot, the uh, Noir Plus Soft knot, is soft but it has more backbone than the standard Plus Soft uh, knot. So there's the info on the brush. I'm using this new soap, chisel faced Santa Paula, which is as you can see there, citrus based orange, or in this case, bitter orange. Um, Santa Paula, Petit Gran, bitter orange, and sage. Well, Petit Gran is an essential oil which is extracted from the um, green twigs and leaves of the bitter orange tree. Um, you think I'm clever, didn't you? <laughs> And the uh, so it's going to be an orange, bittery orange uh, scent. So that's good enough for me. Using the thrown in stone scuttle because this brush is good for deeper scuttles. Um, I just love the look of it. It's sort of a new antique version, if you like. It's beautiful. And this is look at that. This soap lathered up super quick. What I've done is like a crope. Place some in the bottom. Uh, it's like a fudge, soft fudge, and then I've had this soak, don't need to soak it, but I soaked it for 10 minutes while I was on the shower, and then um, flicked it out, and then gone to the bowl, and I've pre-lathered to save you time of, um, with the videos getting too long. Right, the razor, vintage razor today, and this is a Gillette uh, Flare Tip Super Speed, and I think it also known as the Gillette uh, speed stick in some cases. You can see there's the flare tip. And this was made on the third quarter of 1966. Or the date code is L3. Uh, non adjustable twist to open. And I'm using a brand new Gillette 7 o'clock blade. See how that goes. Uh, standard sort of um, Gillette head, as you can see. Uh, beautiful vintage razor, absolutely fantastic uh, condition. And this was sent to me a few years ago with a collection of my vintage razors by Donald Navy Goat, if you remember. And this is one of them. So uh, thank you, Don, and hope you're well. Uh, right, I'm just going to rinse the old uh, whispers in uh, warm water. No one come out the shower. And we're ready to go. So how's your week going? How's your shaves? That's the main thing. Look at this. Oh, that, <laughs> that feels beautiful. This is one of those times where I like the look of something. And um, I love the feel of it as well. So it's just a double, a double whammy. Look at that beautiful chiselled face. Good soaps. As you know, if you follow me, I've um, spilt it everywhere. Uh, Use their cryogen, and uh, 
That's beautiful on a hot day. <laughs> right. So we rinse this and off we go on the first pass. So this is the Gillette uh, Flare Tip Super Speed L3, third quarter of 1966. Yeah, feel very mild. Very mild, but look at it going through that. Beautiful, nice blade. Should be Gillette, should go in a Gillette, shouldn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Bitter orange. The sage, uh, I'm not getting as much. There is something in the background, which is probably sage. I'm quite happy because I can scent the... It is a bitter orange. Orange scents with a bit of tang to it. Not that we're trying it, they're tasting it of course. So you've had a good week, hopefully. And in good health. I hope everything's going well. And you're in good uh, spirits, having some good shaves I hope. Um, Sunday I will be using new products which have been sent to me. Uh, I've bought this, you know, Razor Rock didn't, I've bought this as I had the soap. So there's nothing um, here not been sent. I always tell you if I'm sent anything. And Sunday, I am being, well I've been sent, they've arrived and I'll be using them Sunday. And that is... Uh, Well, you'll get to see Sunday. Be a new uh, razor and new soap and balm, I think. So, God, these whiskers are absolutely coming out of that. Woo, that's beautiful. That was a good first pass, look at that. Good, really pleased. Right, on to pass number two. Okay, pass number two. Back to the scuttle. No water in the scuttle, it's not a cold day. I'm looking forward, I do put warm water as a treat. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna bother in this one. I just, uh, but it's always nice to have when you, look at that, peaked to perfection in the winter months or the cold mornings or whatever. Look at this. This is a beautiful brush, soft. But there is backbone, oh, beautiful, I love the handle, it's different, I know I don't need it, oh look at that, we're higher and higher, um, but if you know what it's like, uh, once you start, look at that thick and cream, I love this, and it's only a mild, mild uh, razor this but well, it is for me anyway uh, blade and razor are a good combination so far so this is pass number two across the growth oh beautiful orangey scent as you as you take the uh, shaving soap beautiful And it's not, you know, it's not very, very strong. It's just, just there nicely. Oh, I tell you what, this is one of those shaves. And it's just, so far, everything's going better than planned. Because this is a mild razor to me. But it's not sliding over the cream. It's a good slick soap. Very slick, but it's it's cutting. It's not missing anything. It's comfortable, but it's mild. It's nice. Oh, you can't beat a warm razor. Lovely. 
double chin. Which is <laughs> which is growing gradually. Not many people laugh at that. That's usually mortified, but I've got a reason. You see, I need a double chin. <laughs> People say you got a double chin, come in there. I know I'm a D shaver, wet shaver, I need a double chin and then walk off. They're there. <laughs> right. That is beautiful. Absolutely superb. Right, on to pass number three against the growth. Welcome to pass number three. Look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> There's plenty left actually. And of course, if you like wetter soaps, wetter lather, you would um you would add water, obviously. Oh smell that, go on, go on. Beautiful, isn't it? I love this, you know. It's lovely to lather because there's a dip there for your fingers to grip and and then it's nice on the face. Really enjoying the synthetics. You know, ball brushes, people say, oh, you like the synthetics better than the balls and the badges and the... Not necessarily. Um, I like them all. I've said this, the same with razors for me. I come into the bathroom and I'm using this for what it is and loving it for what it is. I don't compare it to another brush, to this, to the other. I use that and clear my head of anything else. And that way I don't have any expectations, I don't have any... You can have disappointments, but they're not as bad because you haven't had an expect expectation up to here uh, of something. And I enjoy my shaves much better that way. Same with, as I say, with razors. You know, I don't um, use a razor. Whoa, it's not as good as my Merca Future. Whoa, it's not as aggressive as... No, it's what it is. This razor is what it is. There's nothing else. It's what it is. <laughs> and uh, I enjoy it for that, if that makes sense. Um, that's how I am. Anyway, it's, you know, it's... Uh, so I do enjoy ball brushes, especially the... Uh, Samog 830, 820 and the badger brushes I've got and you know you can see there um, I use them and I love them for what they are when I use them you know but uh, you know I can prefer I used to I would have said one time I prefer the Samog bores to um, any brush or to a badger brush but now I've opened up you see I didn't realize I liked horse hair until I had one because I just had this feeling it would be scratchy and itchy and not nice but how wrong was I <laughs> it's like a badger soft beautiful um, and it's the same with synthetic since I've been using synthetic brushes I love them so it's just a, an addition to what I like really, not necessarily something I prefer. If that makes sense. And this is slick, wow. I'll do a slickness test in a minute so you can see. The way I do it as you know is I just, I clear the shaving soap off the skin. And you know, this is mild, slick soap, and yet it's not hampering. You know, some people think because it's mild, you need to put a bit of pressure there, really, and not at all. Light touch always works for me. I might overshave an area, knowingly, because. Which will give me some nicks and cuts, but uh, oh, beautiful scent. Just this waft as you shave of well, a 
it's an orange, it is a orange scent, but it has a bit of tang to it. That makes it a bit of scent. Very nice. Glad I bought it. Beautiful. Right. I went too quick there. But however, we have not finished yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, we have the pickup. <laughs> Thanks for joining in. Yeah, pickups now. Right, pickup time. Okay, back to this. As I say, there's plenty left. There's Made too much really, look at that, it, oh, beautiful, bald, beautifully, um, absolutely lovely, right. Pick up time. See, I'm not excited, I don't want it to end, not to worry. I bet you look at these videos and think, why do I bother? <laughs> ah, it's all good fun. No airs and graces here. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna waste it. As you can hear, silence. Pick up time. Really nice. I'll do a. I'll show you the slickness in a minute. Well, I've got a, another brush which came with this one. I ordered two. Two I wanted. And they were out of stock, out of stock. And then they came in stock, I couldn't believe it. And this is only. Uh, 1999 20 pounds absolutely worth every penny if you like that design obviously and they do different colors they do aluminium aluminum um, they do this as a resin they do red one I think that's a shorter one, um, but they do black, silver, I think in aluminum, something like that. Oh, I'm not, I've told you haven't I bought that, I'm not being sent to, not, not being paid to say all this sort of stuff, it's uh, whether I'm buying stuff or whether I'm sent to, uh, the, the people I send it know I'm going to use it and say if I don't like it, I don't like it, or if there's something wrong with it, if it doesn't work for me, just going to be honest, um, otherwise no point to it, really. But touch wood, I've not had many uh, bad shaves, thankfully. Right. Beautiful, wow. Really happy with that. Just a touch there. That's enough. <laughs> I can't stop. There we go. Okay, rinse off. Right, I'm going to leave my face wet because I'm going to use uh, the alum today. Good old alum. Where are you, alum? Say hello to alum. <laughs> wet the alum, and then over we go. And there's no issues. 
No feedback. Beautiful. That's lovely. Hmm, can feel a bit of. Right, so I'm gonna rinse that off. smell here. Lilies, roses, and other things. That's lovely. I'll try and show you the knot. Just bear with me. Uh, just rinse this knot out of it and I'll show you the knot without soap in it so you can have an idea what this looks like if you're interested. So there we go, that's where it's, uh, that's the knot. You can see that. So um, very nice. Nice brush, very pleased with that. And I'll rinse that again in a minute. So what have we used? Well, I haven't finished the shave yet. Oh no, that's right, just done the alum, that's it. But, uh, fine l'orange noir, orange, Orange, oh, smell that. <laughs> That's a good combination. What's nice about that fine oh, l'orange noir is it's an orange scent, but in a very posh way. It's like a posh uh, aftershave. Oh, that's nice. But just with this orange citrus scent. Superb. Oh, hold your hands up. Go on then. Don't spill it. Right? Nice. If you spilled a bit, I'll use on me again. Oh, beautiful. Mm. God, that's nice. God, I forgot how good that is. Fine. L'orange noir, orange, dark orange or black or night orange, whatever it translates it. Right. And then we're going to put this, uh, oh, that, that's a lovely combination. Bulldog uh, sensitive moisture cream to put the protection back. And, oh, and I can still smell the orange. That's lovely. I'm pleased about that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. That's beautiful. Right then, quick row over, overrun, over, go over it. The vintage Gillette <laughs> flare tip, so I couldn't speak. Flare tip, super speed. Twist to open, non-adjustable using a Gillette 7 o'clock brand new blade. Very mild razor, but a very slick soap, um, but it didn't hamper it being mild. With it being mild, it didn't hamper the shave. It cuts straight through on the first pass. <laughs> Lovely. Worked a treat. Um, new brush. Get it right. Razor Rock 400. Resin handle with the... Uh, Noir Plissoft knot, 57mm knot. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I put I bought this in Shave Station. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description to the brush at 1999. You know, I'm not saying buy it, I'm just for you to see it. And if you want to read up on it, you know. It's lovely, really nice, felt nice, lathers nice, and I like the feel of it and the look of it. Um We've used Chiselled Face Santa Paula Orange. It's all there. Beautiful. Absolutely. Lathered up quickly. It's like a crope. Um, felt beautiful on the face, you know, during the shave. Good slickness. The scent is not very strong, but it's there. It's just this orange, bitter orange reminder. Beautiful. 
the sage, there's something in the background, but I can't, I wouldn't say, oh, that's sage. There's something there, but my nose is picking up the orange. Beautiful stuff. Very nice. Glad I bought that. Thrown in stone scuttle. And then we rinsed off with water. I used the alum block. And there's no feedback really, just a touch here. Uh, then we used this stuff, which I forgot how good it was. Fine l'orange noir. Um, aftershave, beautiful stuff. And uh, oh, Gillette blade, and that's it. And we used the bulldog sensitive moisturizer. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That's another midweek shave done. So I'll see you on Sunday. As I say, we're using a couple of new products which have been sent to me. And I'll explain all that on Sunday. And uh, probably Wednesday after that, I might be going to uh, another um, sort of back to basics, if you like, something. Something nice and um, uh, just relax. Something nice and not expensive. Something, you know. I like to do that, use good stuff, you you know, go back into, because I like them, they're good stuff. Some people do sort of, uh, once they get good products, they don't look at stuff. Palm Olive, how dare you, like his lordship, how dare you, who wouldn't use such damn stuff, you should be shot, and all this other stuff. <laughs> Whereas I'm not like that, I love the stuff, because it works. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic rest of the week, some great shaves, stay in good health, stay happy and positive, and I'll see you Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.